We are back, joined now by our friend Mark Stevens, the publisher and CEO of Long Beach Magazine. Mark, welcome to Straight Talk. My pleasure to be here, Art. Mark is the publisher of a quality publication, one of our title sponsors, Long Beach Magazine. Here is the current issue with Jesse James on the cover. Give us, in a sense, or two, the, the core uh, notion of Long Beach Magazine. Well, uh, when we, uh, first I'll give you a little bit of history. Um, Long Beach Magazine has been around for five years, and it was started by a group of young guys. Uh, it was purchased in uh, 2007 by John and Michelle Molina. Uh, at that time, we made a serious investment in upgrading the quality and coverage that Long Beach Magazine uh, has done. And now we see ourselves as a high-quality lifestyle magazine that celebrates uh, the positive aspects of Long Beach, the people, the places, the things, the events, that aren't getting uh, appropriate coverage in other publications. So we spend a lot of, um, our, our, a lot of our effort goes into, you know, high quality lifestyle publication covering all the positive aspects of Long Beach. And you joined as publisher when the Molinas bought in in 2007, two years ago. That's when you came aboard Long Beach Magazine. Yeah, I came aboard in September of 2007. Uh, and at that time, uh, the magazine um, was not, I think, achieving the things that really it needed to do to be successful. So we made a lot of changes, redesigned it. Uh, we uh, relaunched it in January of 2008. And since then, we've got so much positive um, feedback from the community. And there seems to be a real uh, acceptance of the product. It is a quality view of Long Beach. And here's a cover of a recent issue that was also adopted for a special issue uh, uh, with the mayor and the first lady on the cover. Yeah, that was a, a, a product that we did in conjunction with the Convention and Visitors Bureau of Long Beach. And Steve Goodling had the idea of producing a product for the TED conference that would highlight the positive aspects of Long Beach again, which is kind of our mission. So we took uh, the best of uh, Long Beach Magazine of 2008 and put that publication together in January of this year for, again, use at the TED conference and uh, use by the Convention Visitor Bureau to promote Long Beach in general to its potential uh, conventions. Mark, as some of our viewers may know, was formerly the publisher of the Press-Telegram. And the function of a daily newspaper, in my judgment and others as well, is to really hold up a mirror to the community. Uh, which the press telegram does, but your magazine also holds up a mirror to the community, but it's a mirror of the very best that Long Beach has to offer and some of the very interesting people that compose our very diverse community. So when you read this magazine, it's, it's an uplifting experience. Very much so, and, and, and I think, again, going back to our principal mission of Long Beach Magazine, it is, again, to cover things that aren't getting uh, proper coverage within other publications in Long Beach. The Press-Telegram, you know, focuses on different things as do other publications, but we try to go in depth into events, uh, people, places that don't get coverage in any other publication. So it's a really unique product that uh, really does highlight the great attributes of the city. Well, earlier in the year, you were nice enough to profile yours truly in Straight Talk, <laughs> and I, I hear sales really spiked that month. <laughs> you know, we can't get it right every month, Art. Sometimes we have softer issues that we're not as proud of, but, yeah. but we did uh, celebrating your 15 years on uh, television. It's well, we, an accomplishment. We appreciate that very much. Uh, what are the goals for the years ahead, Mark? Well, um, we are very fortunate, as I've talked to, we're owned by John and Michelle Molina, and they believe in Long Beach and believe in the positive aspects of Long Beach. So um, we really want to continue to uncover and expose all the, the uh, positive aspects of Long Beach that aren't getting covered. So we continue to want to upgrade our photography and our editorial content and continue to make a better product that, that enhances the reputation of Long Beach. Years and years ago, before you came here, there used to be a magazine called Long Beach Review. Four color, glossy quality, and it was good, and then it disappeared somehow many, many years before 
Long Beach Magazine started, but uh, it was a predecessor and it kind of performed that function. Mm -hmm. But now the city is so much more vibrant, so much more diverse, so many good things happening despite our very serious problems. Now, mm -hmm. you don't cover the bad, pro you're not there to, to talk about the problems and the bad stuff. You want to highlight the positive stuff. Very much so. We are a, a true lifestyle magazine that that it, it tends to be not as news timely, but but covering, you're right, in-depth articles, excellent photography, um, excellent writing about uh, aspects of Long Beach that, again, don't get the coverage they should. And Long Beach is such a great, diverse city that, that deserves to have uh, the hidden gems that are out there that we continually cover on a monthly basis. Well, if you are motivated to want to support this worthwhile enterprise, they do have paid subscriptions. We'll put the telephone number and website of Long Beach Magazine up at the end of this segment. And uh, you could lend your support and voice and get this by mail each month uh, if you become a subscriber. And uh, you have several thousand subscribers and, of course, 20,000 issues are distributed at hotels and other convention sites. Yeah, we're, we're available pretty broadly across Long Beach. We're available in all the downtown hotel rooms. We're uh, distributed to all Long Beach Chamber members. We have a subscriber list. We're available at single copy at Borders and Barnes and Nobles and other locations. So uh, we continue to try and increase our profile, which is important for us. But the people that know us love us and we get such positive feedback on the work we're doing. So. Mark Stevens, thank you for again joining us and continued success to you and your talented staff. My pleasure, Art. Hey, we'll be back with the remaining portions of Straight Talk after these messages. Welcome to McKenna's on the Bay, where fine dining is complemented with a breathtaking view. McKenna's is a restaurant of incredible ambiance, providing service and cuisine with style, class, and romance. The menu offers a variety of appetizers, serious seafood, prime steaks and oyster bar, and specialty entrees for either lunch or dinner. McKenna's on the Bay features patio dining, nightly entertainment, and two banquet facilities. No matter what your occasion, McKenna's on the Bay is like being on vacation. Join us today at McKenna's on the Bay. Founded in 1976, Polly's Gourmet Coffee is Southern California's most complete gourmet coffee store. Polly's has the best tasting coffee freshly roasted every day right in the store. Plus a wide selection of teas, an in-house bakery, espresso bar, patio dining, and more. We also offer Wi-Fi, free internet access for all of our customers. Our nationwide clientele agree, when it comes to coffee, there's only one name to remember. Polly's. 4606 East 2nd Street, welcoming you into Belmont Shore. What a fascinating show. Three really talented guests running important organizations in town. Tony Suarez, the new general manager of the Long Beach Armada. Craig Watson, the new head of the Arts Council for Long Beach. And Mark Stevens running the new Long Beach Magazine, two years new and young. But all making an important contribution in their respective ways to our city of Long Beach. And Mark, one of the real, I think, assets of Long Beach is the talented people that live here. Very much so. Long Beach is such a great city. And as you know, you've interviewed a lot of the important people in town. And it just is such a, a, a really diverse city that has so many positive aspects. And despite the fact that you're a resident alien and a Canadian, <laughs> we still love you. Thank you for joining us. And we'll see you all next week for the next edition of Straight Talk. Good night, everyone. Straight Talk has been brought to you by Southern California Edison, The Press-Telegram, and Long Beach Magazine. And remember, Straight Talk is viewable worldwide 24-7 at straighttalktv.com.